Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with the Netherlands map for Fishing Planet. Now, like I said before, we are going to be here for a while, but I will tell you there was just recently an update made to Fishing Planet. They just recently added motorboats. Now we have more than just kayaks, guys. We have flat bottom boats, we have rubber boats, and we have um bass boats and along with that we have fish finders now obviously where i'm located is not a place where you would actually launch a boat but there's several lakes that have in the past been boat launchable i guess you want to call it uh, emerald lake where i last left off was one of them uh Lacroix. there's um, a few others i can't remember all of them but Eventually, we should be able to get enough money to be able to rent one, but we are here for a little while. When I do get the chance, I will rent one and we'll check one out, probably starting with the flat bottom boats. But anyway, we're going to come back in here. It is night. I will tell you, though, the night fishing has started, and I, I think I left off doing a little bit of night fishing, but we are going in to the peak for this location. Now, as far as the weather goes, I think our weather forecast as of right now is a clear sky. And in the morning, it's going to be rainy, so it's not going to be a peak until late in the afternoon. It seems like the weather here is usually pretty, uh, pretty nasty for the most part. Not too often have I seen it sunny. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen it sunny. Mostly it's cloudy and rainy, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sure that will change eventually. Now, last time we were at the Urban Paradise Peg, I think I might move over here and check out the Charm of Industrial, just to give it a chance. And I'm going to kind of focus on fishing for Xander, since it's nighttime. I don't know that we're going to have any luck with it, but I figure I'm going to give it a shot, see how we do, use the lures that I know we'll go, they'll go for, or at least the wall I go for. And hopefully, we'll get lucky. But we're going to go ahead to a private room here. As you can see, there's the new front loading screen showing the motor boats. But I have not fished over in this area before. So we're going to give it a bit of a try here. I think I'm going to be changing lures. But before I get anything set up, I'm going to go ahead and put my rod pod down. I'm not hearing any sound. Something. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that done. Let me see if I can't see, figure out what's going on with the sound here. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Alright, let's see here. Go ahead and grab my bottom fishing rod we've got some leeches on here which from experience walleyes go for that too and we're going to toss those out there right around there see if these guys will go for it Yeah, I've got to come back here with a couple of rod pods at some point. But I have a big deficit to replace, <laughs> as you well know. Let's see. Um, okay, we are going to replace this lure. It's going to take too long to do that. Now, I was hoping that I had a half ounce. But it's not looking like I do. Shoot. But as you can see, I've earned quite a bit of my cash back so far. Well, we're going to try this Nero Spoon one quarter ounce. And then we'll try this new one that I got here. It's a blue holographic one. Actually, let's go ahead and give it a try. It's too light. Darn, I was afraid that was going to be the case. Alright, fine. We'll just use this rod. I'm hoping I can get some casting distance because these guys are going to be out kind of deep. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not wonderful, but it's not too bad. And maybe 
be too early to fish for these guys. We may need to come back, but we're going to give it a try anyway. Yeah, I think we're a little bit too early to be doing this. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is pick this up. And we're going to advance time. They make you pull it in. That's the only thing. you got to pull the, the rod in. And before that, I think I might go ahead and see if I can get a little bit lighter line. Maybe I can increase my odds of casting that out farther. And if we don't have any luck here, we'll go over where the windmills are because I know that that's a good location. This should be just as good, though, honestly. Let's go ahead and advance time. I'm going to take it to midnight. Now we're going to go ahead and toss this back out. Alright, let's toss this one out here. get our elemental out and let's try casting this way we'll just cast from side to side let's see how we do this is a seriously deep location <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Something is attacking with earnest here. Let's see what we got here. Whatever it is, it likes leeches. sure what we got here but it's fairly decent sized Ooh, and he's fighting quite a bit come on there we go this is what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about people I think we got us a Xander here guys yes see New personal record, a trophy Xander. 554 cash. It's not bad, guys. Not bad at all. We'll get a picture of him. Nice. Well, the leeches are a success, guys. Oh, catch fish at nighttime to complete this challenge. Got a gold bait coin. We're going to toss that right back up. We don't know. Let's toss it out a little further than that. Let's see. What did I have it before? It was about right there. There we go. A very nice way to start out the night. So we know they're out there. I'm just kind of concerned that maybe I've got some issues with my distance. I know these are good lures. Good lord. Are you kidding me? There we go again. Yeah, this one's not as big as the last one. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you, the last one kind of fought back as soon as I got in close to shore. Right, he's fighting a little bit more. Yep, see, I, it's another Xander, I can tell that. 
Now, this is just a regular Xander, but 187 is pretty darn good, guys. For just a common Xander. Alright, let's try out there a little bit. A little further out. Let's go ahead and bring this in. Yeah, I think I might Let's see here. I'm gonna try that purple spin because it seems like that one's that's the one that they always go for. I wish I had a half ounce one though. Really, really do. Yeah, because I could get a lot more distance with that. Now I've got some serious cash earning to do before I can get to that point. There we go. All right. I was a little worried that we weren't getting a good enough distance, but this is a decent fish. I can already tell that right now. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what I'm talking about. This is a Xander. This is the biggest fighting that I've gotten since I've been here. But let's see what we got here. Looks like we might have us. A bigger Xander. He isn't a trophy, but he is a lot bigger than the other one was. Very nice, Mr. Xander Van. Mr. Xander Man. <laughs> yep, the purple lure. I swear to God, it's a killer. It always has been. While I love it, so do these guys. I was hoping. Ooh, it's really deep right here. Alright guys, we are going to head back over to the other peg. So... Give that area a try. Let's head on over. Pretty sure you could probably walk there, but I'm just going to go this way. It's a little faster. Alright, let me see. Can you get over to these windmills? I don't know if you can go way over here or not. This might be a different... Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's put ourselves in between both windmills and see how we do. Okay, let's put our rod pod down. I'm going to throw the bottom rod out in the center. About the same distance I did before. try this for a little while and see if they're out there by those windmills If we don't get any bites off the leeches, I might switch over to the small minnows because I know those are another popular item. There we go. 
Yeah, the leeches are definitely a good uh, good thing for these guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is a real fish, guys. This is a real fish. Yeah, he's definitely serious. We've almost got him in here. He's giving a fight. There we go. That's another Xander. 250. Damn, he is spastic. <laughs> Okay, we'll keep him. Uh, I'm going to toss it this time over there towards the windmills. A little bit in further. I think last time I might have cast that a little too far. Alright, we're going to see if this does anything. Cast it a few more times, nothing happens. I'm going to switch it over to one other lure. Let's see how that one does. Okay, it's serious. I just noticed that the wind turbines are moving now. The windmills aren't moving, that's kind of weird. Not sure about the size of this fish. Pretty sure it's a Xander though. Yep, another Xander. Yeah, we're rocking the Xander, I'll tell you that. Let's put that one down. We'll see if these guys are going to go for this or not. So far, it's just had the one. And I really do believe it is the distance. I think I might be just... Because I kind of caught him like right on that edge. After that, I think it's too shallow. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid, is that we just can't cast it out far enough. So we need a heavier lure. Shoot, if I had the cash, I'd go to the store and buy one. Alright, sounds like we got another one here, guys. Yeah, we're not catching a whole lot off the lures at the moment. I think a lot of that has to do with the type of lure I've got. Really want to get that half ounce narrow spoon. But this should end this episode. We are seriously running out of time. They definitely do go for the leeches, and the small minnows they also go for, but I wanted to try these just to see how successful they were, and obviously they're doing very well. And there he is, guys. Last one for the episode. Not a bad one. A little over three pounds. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, those are the Xander. The Xander of the Netherlands. And hopefully we'll get some more as we continue doing this, this uh, run through in this particular fishery. But as I always say guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.